Welcome to Real Estate Genius, everybody. Super excited, super thrilled to be back with you once again on a hoodie edition. Ooh, it's burr cold outside. We keep getting snow here in the central Indiana housing market. This, uh, at least I'm, I'm wearing my hoodie, but I'm at least I'm on brand, you know? And I also look a little bit like the Emperor from Star Wars. Yes. Anyway, uh, I wanted to come to you today to give you the usual Indianapolis housing market stats. Before we get to that, I do want to share that this week was, yes, my birthday. That's right. And I am someone who's not afraid to just milk every last drop out of my birthday celebration, including right now in this moment by gratuitously sharing with you that it's my birthday, number one. But number two, I want to share my birthday wish. The only thing that is on my birthday list this year is for you to sell your house. That's it. We're gonna talk about why I need you to sell your house uh, in the stats here in just a second, but that's all I want for my birthday this year. You, dear Indianapolis metro area seller, to sell your house. Happy to get a sign that's like that, but much prettier in your yard, and we're gonna need it. That's all I want for my birthday this year. So if you wanna make my 21st birthday extra special, stop laughing. That's hurtful. Uh, make it extra special by giving me the only gift that's on my list this year, a sign in your yard to sell your house. And we need you to. So with that little cheesy segue, let's dive into real estate genius, uh, looking back at the January numbers and how they compared to previous years January. Okay, so let's dive right in. First of all, overall home sales up in January, 8.2% compared to January 2020. Still market continuing to be strong, continuing to be crazy, all that good stuff. The median sale price is $210,000. That's up 17% compared to a previous January. How many investments do you know where in one year's time you can return 17%? That's a pretty good job. So if you bought a house in January last year, there's a good chance your house is worth as much as 17% more or more. That's the average right now in our MLS. So 210,000, the median sale price. And here's the thing, here's where we get to my birthday wish. Inventory down 54.4% compared to a year ago. 54.4%, goodness gracious. Now you see why prices are crazy high. By the way, if you wanna know what your home is worth, hit me up, put a little comment, send me a message, I will get you that information. But inventory so crushingly low, buyer demand still really high with interest rates still being historically low. I put on my Instagram story a little graph of that uh, if you wanna check that out. But inventory so crazy low, it's even down 19% from December's from just the previous month. So inventory dropping, it's killer out there for buyers. It's awesome if you're a seller, we need more sellers. Let's try to solve this problem together and do it for my birthday, right? Well, just my little birthday wish. We'll get some houses on the market. We'll find some buyers, some great houses. We'll get you into your next house. It can all, it's my birthday dream come true for you is what it is really. Uh, so that's inventory. Average days on market, 38 days on market right now. That's 41% faster than 2020's numbers. So all in all, just crazy. But you see why my one and only birthday wish is for you to sell your house. If you want to do that, or if you just have any general questions or comments or thoughts, you can drop a comment, you can shoot me a message, you can send me a carrier pigeon, you can put it inside a big birthday cake that I have to go face first and smash my face into to find that message. I'm down for whatever, just hit me up. Let's get your house on the market. Uh, let's make my birthday dreams come true and stop laughing. I just turned 21, I'm very excited about it. See you next time on Real Estate Genius.